Uh oh. Clearing the table. Yeah, going to take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end, finishing this thing off by any means necessary. Waving that chair to her opponent has got to be cautious now. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Up to the bottom with the chair. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. Uh-oh. We're going to see it. Power. Sit out. Power bomb. Two. She was close to the end there. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. She'll take things into the ring. Just carrying the opposition any way they want. Ooh. In playing the trachea. Ooh. Nasty looking inverted suplex. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Oh no! Crashing hard onto the floor. Evading offense. I don't know who's feeling this more, her or the crowd. Oh my god! She saw that one coming. Oh, vicious running knee lift. And back into the ring she goes. between the top and middle rope. Vicious knee. Now 
she's taking a hit up in that region. Placing them into the corner. to figure out how to move on from tonight and come back better. It'll take more than she showed tonight if she hopes to earn a spot on the big stage. That's more like it. I think I've proven my point. I'm better. I guess you can keep up with me when I'm having a bad day. But better? You must have lost count, LJ. We're even. We both have one win and one loss. Ava's right on that point. <sighs> of course you'd be on her side. Do you really think I have it out for you somehow? Ava's right. As far as WWE is concerned, you're square. So... If you really want to settle the score, this needs to be a best out of three series. At least that's what management thinks. Fine. I'll beat her on the next main event, too. They'd actually like you to have the final match on SmackDown. On SmackDown? Are you serious? That's what I said, didn't I? Then I can't wait to beat her on SmackDown. Oh, calm down. Act like you go here. Just one thing. The show's already been booked and is pretty tight. I could only get you a little time. So it's officially a five minute time limit match. My recommendation if you want to finally settle this, someone better win quickly. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Hey, I've been looking for you, but I haven't seen you around the locker room. You have? Honestly, I haven't had a reason to be in the SmackDown locker room before now. Yeah, I've been wanting to apologize for what I said to you at Survivor Series. I think I was a little harsh. <laughs> you were maybe just a little harsh, but... Nothing I can't handle. You made a mistake. Something I've done a few times in my career. Heck, I even crashed a wedding once. Not my proudest moment, but when you're in the thick of it, sometimes it's easy to get carried away. Anyway, I shouldn't have said everyone on SmackDown was mad at you. You weren't mad? Oh, we were. But if we stayed mad at every loss, no one would ever be friends. So I'm sorry. And I'm excited for your match tonight. As far as I'm concerned, you should have won that first one too. You had Ava on her heels. You watched our first main event match? Of course. Though, while I respect that you didn't try to cheat, you gotta work on your ring awareness a little bit. Fair enough. Good luck out there. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a... For those of you who have been following Ava Moreno and her opponent's rivalry over on Main Event, you're in for a treat. They're here on SmackDown to settle the score. And for those of you new to the rivalry, you're in for a treat too. These two haven't been in WWE very long, but they're already determined to crush each other. Unfortunately, they won't have much crushing time as this is a five minute time limit match, so they better crush quickly. Ooh. Here's a combo of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Here's a drag into a cover. And she kicks out. Boom. <laughs> Man, a little extra luster behind that kick. 
Rolling elbow. with that boot and momentum is slipping away from moreno yeah ava has to pull a trick from her sleeve what a boot! this is what you call high risk high reward sky high oh. foot stomp brutal <laughs> just mounted with punches and, not, and a Oof. stop to the gut too slips out of the way Could be looking for something big to end this match. This might do it from way up high. Sit up, Powerball. She returns the favor. Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. for her. Ava Moreno has got to figure out how to move on from tonight and come back better. It'll take more than she showed tonight if she hopes to earn a spot on the big stage.
It's like I've always said, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And did you see the finish of that match? What a victory! In fact, it's a day of victories for this whole family. Not only did my niece triumph in her first match on SmackDown, it's finally time for that big announcement I've been teasing. As you know, I recently appeared at Survivor Series, and it seemed that impromptu moment scratched an itch that the WWE Universe didn't even know they had. After some talks with corporate, we've come to an arrangement, and starting next episode, Ruthless Digressions will be an official WWE podcast. It'll be all the same content you love, just with a little more WWE oomph behind it, including a brand new studio set so we can record video for all our exclusive interviews. Move over, Broken Skull Sessions and Steve Austin. There's a new podcast host in town, and it's me. I don't know about you, but I desperately need a vacay. Sun, sand, You've done a decent job proving you belong on the roster and shedding the memory of that. Cheerio, LJ. Cheerio? Are you binge watching another British costume drama? Well, yes, always. But no. WWE is planning another Queen's Crown tournament, and this time they're really getting into the spirit of love for a monarchy. It's happening overseas at NXT UK. Well, that's pretty cool. You going over to cover it for Ruthless Digressions? Hey, pick me up one of those Royal Guard outfits, would you? No, I can't make the trip. But I was thinking you might. The spots have mostly been decided, but I've got an old friend over there, Tavish, and he can pull some strings and get you into the tournament. What are you still standing here for? Go pack your bags and grab your passport! Unless you've got something better to do. Sounds smashing. I'll go pack. Oh, I think I need one of those plug things to make the electricity work. Yeah, a voltage adapter. You can buy one at the airport. I'll tell Tavish you're coming. He promised to look after you while you're there. Oh, and do try to return with a crown, your majesty. Indubitably.
Ah, there she is. I couldn't miss you. Really? But... Well. Thank you. Ah, really? Giles, I didn't know. So nah, nah. nah. Well, well, well. You're lucky that I'm not running this tournament. We're all lucky you're not running this tournament, because then- At least every- Don't act like you wouldn't have done- Good luck with- Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. And cheerio, grab yourself a cup of tea and sit down in front of the telly because it's time to kick off the Queen's Crown Tournament from the UK. And I don't think there could be a better setting. The royalty, the pageantry. I only wish we could have seen Beth Spartan get a shot on her home turf. No, oh, come on, Saxton. Spartan would be totally outclassed. At least this way, Sonya Deville might actually look up a sweat. Referee in position. She's trying to drain some energy with that early cover. And she really took her time getting out of that one. Sonya Deville with the reversal. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Arm ringer applied. Beautiful back kick. She's beginning to flag a little. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Into the neck breaker. Effective body blow. Big forearm. Deville struggling to defend herself. Deville needs to be resourceful in this situation. Kick right to the leg. Right up on the middle rope. Striking the lower back. Now the superstar from the apron. Knee lifts over and over again. All right, she's back in, ready to go. She heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. Knew what was coming there. And look at front feet, back suplex. Trying to psych herself up, get into a proper zone. Super kick! This is troublesome for Deville. There's two! An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, the Superstar. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. Test. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.
Nice work against Sonia last week, LJ. Definitely. Yeah. You mean the zombie? Me? After yeah. you, you mean the right. I like the way some people think. I'm gonna eliminate Beth Spartan before she can become a problem. I didn't hear any of that, but good luck with whatever course of action you plan on. And there's Beth Spartan, disappointed not to be competing, but still here to support her friend Zelina. Whoa, where did she come from? Looks like Beth got herself a fight after all. This fight is getting started before they even make it through the curtain. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. She's headed right up the ladder. She's got something nuts on her mind here. Well, she made it. Now what? And we know the backstory coming in. We knew this was going to be unpredictable. But did you ever expect this? Michael, this is not what anybody envisioned. No one could picture this fight going where it's gone. Oh, God, that railing might have just fell on someone. This has to stop. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Oh my goodness! Are you nuts? Hey. Boom! Did you hear the impact? Timely reversal on Beth. Running knee lift. These road cases are not very forgiving. They're definitely not made to fight on. Brutal knee right to the face. <laughs> Textbook scoop slam. The list of superstars who have taken a tumble off that dock is long and illustrious. None of these competitors want to be added to it. Uh-oh, headbutt! Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. Standing on production boxes and shipping crates, willing to fight anywhere and everywhere. Big forearm. Cinches up the arm and a vicious kicks to the jaw. She flips it back on her. A stalemate of counters. Paying it back with their own counter. Expected that one. Guys, come on! Someone could seriously get hurt back there. Pretty sure that's the point, Saxton. They didn't go back there to do any loading, just some unloading of vicious offense. Oh, look at these kicks. Oh. Knee right to the face. This doesn't look stable enough to be fighting on. Bang! So accurate. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Uh, 
Perched on the shoulders. Yeah. Pow! Extremely dangerous situation here. This loading dock is full of metal edges and hard surfaces. One false move, and you could easily get injured bad. Oh, with authority! And we are looking at some true close quarters combat here on this dock. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Oh, countering with a chop block will halter any attack. Oh, it's a recipe for cracked ribs. And as off limits as this area may be, they are clearly making themselves at home here. I don't know what it's like at your home, Cole, but they're definitely acting like they own the place. Oh, yeah, she is really getting fired up. <sighs> Neck breaker. Ouch. You could get hit by a car in the parking lot. Or you can take the initiative and throw someone else through a car window. Shot to the gut will break things up. Beth capitalizes on the misstep. Uh-oh. Closed fist, punch to the jaw. That's one way to break up a move. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, my, oh, what? Uh, she just went head first through the window. All sorts of danger looming as this fight continues in the parking lot. Oh, what a right hand! Continues to focus on that region of the body. Shirley is pinpointing that spot. Up into the torture rack. I don't see them getting up after that. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all. Tonight, we've got a second round Queen's Crown matchup with an extra peeping of drop.
And some extra fire in Zelina's eyes. Just look at her. She looks like a woman possessed. I'd be fired up too if my friend and corner person was taken out backstage before this match. The rookie superstar is going to have to answer for that, and it may cost her advancing in the tournament. Stuck in the tree of woe. And they are doing whatever they please. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? She's got an answer for that. into the corner. Sharp knee. How disrespectful, my gosh. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? She's into the ring again. to hinder her. Cut off. Well, quickly, the cover. And quick getting the arm up. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. She might be in some trouble now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Selena won't come back after that. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. Now that maybe next don't time. Lose You're right. Take I've care. Had
Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from New York, the Superstar. If you listen to After the Bell this week, you know this is a match I've wanted to see for quite some time, and it's almost time to start. to be here. Otherwise, the EST is going to be the Royal Est. He's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Oh, look at the kicks right to the next second. Series of kicks in the corner. Here we go. I don't think Zelina's quite ready to walk away from this tournament. Oh, it looks like it's just mind games. We'll see what impact that has on this match. She manages to get control. Send it right back. Oh, using the knee. Bianca is losing any remnants of control now. Belair is not gauging the situation accurately. She was clearly waiting for that. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. See it! Power! Sit down! Power bomb! Rope breaks the hold there. Getting set up for something in the corner. And Belair reverses it. These two having an answer for everything. Oh, vicious running knee lift. She has to figure something out for this. Looks like she's having problems creating any of her own offense. her opponent had for her and still managed to kick out. The best shot was thrown, but it couldn't put this match away. Setting foot in the ring now. Yeah. Oh, strong impact. Yeah. What a hot shot. It's it all the way to the outside. And now she's getting back into the ring. She sent flying into the corner. Oh, what a kick! Oh, impressive counter. Boom, right to the midsection. Turns it around. Sole of foot meets the stomach. Running knee lift. Good night. Good grief. Boom, what a kick. Not sure how much more Bianca Belair can take. Yeah, not looking good at all. Now, trampling the opposition. Elbow smash! Forearm to the face! Oh, nothing fancy about that. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Get your cameras ready! Big mistake there, Corey. Well, she knows that now. So glad I put money on her tonight. Is it the cover? Let the coronation begin for the winner of the Queen's Crown Tournament. And Bianca Belair looks on wondering what might have been.
For most Royals, the bloodline is most important, and apparently, WWE is no different. Oh, come on, Saxton. She earned it in the ring. And what queen has ever taken the throne without a little drama? Well, whether her hands are clean might be up for debate, but no one can deny at the end of the day, she's the one wearing the crown. Congratulations, your majesty. <laughs> as long as you're... It always oh, feels weird. I've got to get back. I'll hold you to it. 